I think confirmation bias, I think, I mean, you know way more than me, but I think confirmation bias is the main thing here, right? Um, mm -hmm. So let's maybe just start with that, uh, and then we can go into some other insight that I'm sure you have. So what is confirmation bias? Confirmation bias is our tendency to notice evidence, especially that um, affirms our prior beliefs, or to interpret any evidence uh, in light of uh, supporting our, our prior beliefs. So a great example here are, are polls. Um, so people, uh, whenever they see a poll about a candidate uh, or a race they're invested in, they like to interpret that poll in, in a way that uh, makes them feel better about their candidate's chance of winning. Um, so, you know, if their candidate's ahead by a point or two, um, they're like, yes, he's definitely winning. He's going to win. Uh, if he's behind by a point or two, they might pay a little more attention to that margin of error and say, well, OK, he's, he's, it says he's behind a point or two, but the margin of error is three. So he's probably still ahead. Um, so that, that's, you know, a really simple example. But uh, this is just sort of how our brains work. Uh, they are uh, out to make us feel good about what we already believe. Uh, rather than always to discover what's true. Okay, I love that line. So it's out to make us feel good about what we already believe. Why? Why do our brains do that? Mm. Yeah, it's a, it's a real puzzle. Um, there are a lot of possible explanations. I, it, it, I mean, the, the thing that's weird about it is you would think, um, you know, we've, we've all evolved uh, to, to be fit to survive. It's, a, it's kind of strange to think that our brains would, would mislead us. Um, but here, here's a reason that it might make sense. We're all social beings. We have to cooperate with other people. So even if you're really smart, if you can't get along with other people, um, then you're not going to do very well. So your genes might be might be selected out. But if other people can trust you, um, if you get along better with people in your group, uh, then you're more likely to survive and, and pass in your genes and have, have more kids, that sort of thing. Um, so what does that have to do with, with confirmation bias? Well. Um, all of our, our cherished beliefs, at least some of these, have to do with group membership and our, our group identity. So uh, if I'm a, a kind of really skeptical guy going around saying, you know, this thing that all of you people that I need to, you know, to deal with in my everyday life, all of you believe these things and, and it seems like there's all this evidence that it's wrong and like, I sure, sure, I believe them too. Um, but you know, I'm not so sure, then people are not gonna like you very much. Uh, yeah. But if you're telling them comforting tales, like, oh, no, I, sure, this might look bad, but I mean, we can see a way out of this. Like, don't worry, I'm on your team. So in other words, there's a, a kind of incentive um, to grandstand to other people, to show them your heart's in the right place. You, you know, you believe uh, the things that they do even when uh, the times are tough. Right, uh, so they can they can depend on you, and it's also you know very tempting to to lie even to yourself uh, in this way uh, to to say no, you don't need to reconsider uh, all of your your deeply held beliefs. Um, there's there's a story I can spin uh, that fits with this evidence, and then also makes it okay not to to change my mind. Wow, that was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more. <laughs>